Hello everybody, Drew Waltz, training manager for Iris. Today I'm going to cover the use of the Sonus PD and the S60 cap phone with the Iris app. So we're going to go over showing you how to actually link the two together so you can use the Bluetooth feature for this equipment. So we want to open up the Sonus Iris app and we want to detect the device. We click allow so it turns on the Bluetooth. And then it starts detecting, it automatically starts looking for it. it. Shows that we have our Sonus, it's listed by the actual serial number, so we select it and hit connect. And then put in our passcode, the default one, two, three, four. And now we're connected. All right, so now that we're connected, we see the Bluetooth signal on the Sonus PD. We hit acquire. And we can put in, at this point, the name of the report that we want to do. We're just going to use my substation. You can put the asset number in here, the number of assets. So you can increase and customize this report. We're going to go ahead and hit go. All right, and then we're going to select the AE. We're going to start off with the acoustic emission portion of this. this unit has both transient earth voltage and acoustic emissions which are ultrasound in nature. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this back over the panel now and we'll show you how this works. Alright so we're at the panel now and I'm going to select the AE function and I'm using a PD port and I can decrease the volume as needed through the actual phone. The speaker is actually broadcasting from the PD unit, but we can see the reports start to extrapolate the information. Okay, so now we're going to actually connect through the Sonus PD, through the headphone jack with the 3.5 cable to a VPDS port. We're going to hit AE again, and we're going to be able to see our data start to accumulate on here as well too. All right, so now we're going to talk about using the TED feature on this. Again, we're still connected to the Bluetooth and we're now going to use the, the app. I just select TEV and as I make placement on here, we can then hear the sound and we can actually start to watch the report extrapolate the information that's going on. So with these two devices, we can quickly and easily utilize it to determine what's going on with transient earth voltage or acoustic emissions from ultrasound anomalies such as corona, tracking, or arcing. So we can also send this report directly to the software and then you can analyze the report from there as well too. So it's a great little one-two punch. The unit does come with a set of headphones so if the noisy environment's around and you want to have a better sound, you can plug directly into the headphone jack and then you can use the Sony headphones that are included with the kit. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 941-907-9128 or you can always email us at info at iris2s.com and we'll be glad to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.